Greetings folks. Uh, this is the first video of 2015 that uh, I'm going to post uh, to our uh, main homesteaders Facebook page and it is on our Cub Cadet. It is a older model LT1050. We have developed a uh, an issue with the starting on this unit and uh, what happens is this has got the uh, Kohler motor and uh, last year it started turning over real slow and uh, apparently the research that I've done online has indicated that uh, this is a common issue for this tractor uh, or for this motor and uh, I found on one of the forums where the a guy was talking about uh, how he cured the problem and it was replacing the starter so I called uh, Cub Cadets 1-800 um, line right here, which is their 965-4282. And I gave them the serial number, the and model also, number. Uh, they needed the one off this tag that is located under the seat. So that is where you're going to get the serial number and the model number that they will need. To pick out which starter they need and I'm going to install the starter and I will let you know if uh, it cures the problem of this Cub Cadet turning over. This is an FYI, this is the uh, old starter that I took out. This is the new uh, starter that was shipped to me and as you can tell this has got the two bolt pattern on the top. Very easily bolts right straight into the engine, uh, side of the engine and uh, I'm going to give her an install. I hope you can see this. I am on the uh, right hand side as you sit on the machine on the right hand side of this engine and uh, right down here underneath the uh, oil fill spout is where the uh, starter goes and it will go right straight up in and uh, you can't really screw it up. Bolt pattern goes right straight in. Alright folks there it is. I tossed it back in. Uh, bolt here, bolt here, go right straight into the motor. And down here is where the wire hooks on from the battery. Uh, just make sure you uh, have the battery disconnected when you uh, take the starter out and put the new one in. And then uh, once you've got that starter in, you can go ahead, hook back up your positive lead there again, and uh, we'll test As it. Note, how it works. Uh, this battery was replaced last year. My repair guy told me that uh, the standard, I think it's 230 cranking amp battery, that was in this was not sufficient for the uh, cranking amps needed for this motor so he put in this one that has 300 cold cranking amps uh, well in excess of what this motor required when it was new and I gotta say when it was brand new it turned over fine so I was a little suspect that it was a battery issue and uh, after he brought this back to me with this 300 cold cranking amp battery in it I still experienced the exact same problem last year with a slow slow turning over engine to the point where it would just half turn over barely turn over and uh, start so I've got the battery hooked back up and the starter is in and a look back. well I can't really show you how it's turning over because it starts right up immediately it turns it over good and strong exactly what you wanted 